Did Rebels change everything we thought we knew about Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> Did Rebels change everything we thought we knew? Uh oh. <laughs> Did Rebels change everything we thought we knew about Star Wars? A huge detail was dropped in the latest episode of Star Wars Rebels, and it truly has fans losing their sh faster than Anakin getting denied by the Jedi Council. <laughs> yeah, yeah, f what? Now, if you aren't up to date on Rebels and wish to keep your Star Wars spoiler free, then look away. These aren't the spoilers you're looking for. Now, in one of the final few episodes of Rebels, a huge, potentially galaxy changing sci fi plot device was introduced, and it's that most slippery of plot slopes. Ah, it's time travel, y'all. <laughs> We're more specifically, the potential use of the Force as a means of time travel. I'm not doing it over. Fans still seem to be in a state of shock at this huge whopper, but when you start to dig deeper into what that could possibly mean, the possibilities are endless and troubling for the Star Wars universe as a whole. In the latest episodes, Wolves at the Door and A World Between Worlds, Ezra Bridger and crew arrive at the Jedi Temple on Lothal, guided by Loth Wolves, Force-friendly doggos that are native to the planet. At this temple, it is revealed to the Rebels that that there is a pathway to all time and space, and whoever controls it controls the universe. Now this is a major reveal for a universe that quite a few people have been battling to control, and of course Ezra finds his way through the portal into the world between worlds. He hears voices from Force users past and present, Yoda, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and future Force kids, Leia, Rey, and Kylo. But what this finally confirms is what really happened to Ahsoka Tano after her big showdown with her old master, Darth Vader, back in Season 2. We assumed she had sacrificed herself during the fight with Vader in order to give the rest of the team time to escape, but we never quite saw her fate. Turns out, while while Ezra is between worlds, he is led to that moment in time and is able to rescue and return her back to that moment later, alive and unblown up. But when Ezra tries to save his fallen master Kanan, he gets a lesson from Ahsoka in not messing with the past too much and decides to honor Kanan's sacrifice, which seems a little hypocritical when she herself just got saved moments earlier via time travel. But whatever. Selfish. So besides the Rebels' specific questions this time travel business creates, what does all this mean for the future of Star Wars or the past? Hey yo. <laughs> First off, time travel in any franchise opens a huge can of worms and every fictional universe has their own rules for what can and can't be affected. Back to the Future rules dictate that you can travel whenever and wherever you want as long as you've got enough garbage in your flux capacitor. In Quantum Leap, the traveler doesn't have a ton of control regarding when and where they're traveling to, and in Star Trek, well, it just depends on the episode. Rebels establishes that anyone inside the world between worlds can view and interact with important moments in history by traveling through time portals. It's like Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. But this is where things get extremely confusing. When Ezra used the portal to save Ahsoka, is that what was supposed to happen? Is there a reality where Ahsoka was turned into a force-sensitive paste from a bunch of falling rocks, and did her surviving cause a huge time paradox? We're not sure yet. We'll have to see how the finale shakes out next week. Now, in the Rebels Recon YouTube After Show, it's confirmed that the entrance Ezra used to enter the world between worlds was destroyed, but there are other entrances that a force user can conceivably access and use to alter the timeline. As we've mentioned before on this show, Rebels has been sort of a testing ground for things Lucasfilm and Disney want to use in their main Star Wars films. Hammerhead Corvettes and using the Force to fly through space were both in Rebels before we saw them on the silver screen, and like those examples, this could be Disney laying the groundwork for the future. Now the problem with introducing time travel into the Star Wars universe is, once you open up that mystery box, it's hard to close it. Now that we know it's possible to influence the past and change the future, what's to stop Kylo Ren from saving Emperor Palpatine moments before he's killed by Darth Vader, or George Lucas from going back in time to prevent the holiday special from ever happening, although that's the gift that keeps on giving. There are rumors that J.J. Abrams wants to use Episode Nine to tie all three trilogies together, and what better way than through time travel, like we saw with Lost. We have to go back! But what do you think? Are you excited to see time travel in the Star Wars universe? What do you think will happen in the series finale of Rebels? And do you think Chewbacca and Rey will trade in the Millennium Falcon for a TARDIS or a DeLorean? Let's discuss! And be sure to like and subscribe. And did you catch our brand new show, Bizarre States Declassified? Andrew Bowser and I dig into the weird at the Mystic Museum as we talk to celebrities and experts about their experiences with the paranormal, occult, cryptids, and some seriously spooky stuff. You can check it out over on ProjectAlpha.com and make sure to use the promo code MYSTIC to get 60 free days.